Good morning. It's Rhonda White from HerChristianHome.com. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Each month I wanted to start sharing something that was an encouragement to me during the month. I do a, lots of reading in the morning. I like to read my Bible, but I also like to read other little devotional books. So I thought I would choose one piece that was an encouragement to me and read it to you. And so hopefully it will be a blessing to you. The verse I chose today to share with you is James 5.16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I want to focus on that last part of the verse. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man man availeth much James 5:16. so um, today I'm going to share a story with you about a mother who prayed for her children and I have two children that are grown and no longer home and one teenager still at home and I pray for all three of them every day but even when they leave home you pray for them just the same as you did when they were home but sometimes I think it's almost double because you tend to worry more about them when they're not under your care than when you're when they're at home and you can watch over everything that they do. So I'm going to read this little story. It's by Dr. Kenny McComas, Dalton uh, from Dalton, Ohio. I hope it'll be encouragement to you. It's real short. I won't take much of your time. It says Dr. W. A. Criswell, pastor two churches as a young minister. Each church had four brothers who were deacons, all from the same family. One day he asked one of the deacons how it happened that his mother alone had reared eight outstanding Christian men. His reply was an impressive story. He explained that there had been nine boys in the beginning. One was shot down in a gambling hall late one night. The other eight boys continued to saddle their horses and ride off to town each Saturday night with a flask of whiskey on one hip and a pistol on the other. The old mother would stand at, a, at the barnyard gate and beg them not to go as they rode off to town. She went out to a little thicket to pray. She stayed on her knees till God heard and answered her prayer. One night in the saloon, the whiskey became bitter as gall. The cards would not shuffle or deal properly. The sons said their hands felt like they had been struck by paralysis. One by one, the mother prayed those boys into the kingdom of God. Oh, for a praying mother. And so um, I just want to encourage you to keep praying for your family. Pray for your children. If you don't have children, uh, you have many people, I'm sure, in your life that you can keep praying for. Uh, God is able, God is almighty, and sometimes he just wants to hear us keep praying and praying and not uh, giving up. Um, so just keep praying. Um, I hope this was an encouragement to you today. If so, let me know. I'm excited to um, start this new series of sharing something that was an encouragement for, from, for me each month. So um, thank you and God bless.